Hey everybody, I'm outside near a fence and I wasn't planning on filming anything today, but you know, sometimes projects arise and 3D printing is the solution. The problem is there's a board that has broken loose. It looks like it had some, it's got screws in it and there are some, uh, some wood is missing. So it rotted out or something and the, the fence kind of moves now. See, it's just kind of, it kind of moves like that. If I pull the boards back and we and we peek, we can see that there's this board right here. Uh, and it looks like there are those two screws and those were kind of keeping the board in place. What we can do is if I pull this really hard, it slots into place and the, the fence is sturdy, but the dogs can still push it open. So here's what I'm thinking. One, I'll, I don't want to replace the board, at least right now, it could be, maybe next summer. I don't know. I just, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to replace the whole board. Uh, two, I don't want to go into my neighbor's yard. I just want to be able to fix it from right here. So what I need to do is come up with a bracket. Now I could go to the local hardware store and just get a metal bracket, but I do have 3D printers and I've got really good materials. So the goal is to create a bracket that is made from good material, 3D print it and install it in the fence. Let's go. <clears throat> We're jumping right into Fusion 360. There's really not much that I have in mind. It's going to be extremely simple. You could use any other CAD program I just happen to have up. Uh, I'm gonna create a sketch on this plane and uh, here, I'm gonna hit L for line. Now what I want, um, there's that bracket shape that has to go against this board and has to go against uh, this board. And so it's, it's a right angle. I'm just gonna drag it out here and I'm gonna go 75. Uh, and then uh, I'm gonna go up here, 75. Okay, so that's gonna be my right angle. Now the thickness, here's my idea. What I wanna do is use material that is 100% infill, essentially, and then drill holes rather than putting holes in it. I know I could just model in the holes, but this is going to be quick and dirty and um, being able to put the bracket in place and then drill the holes is, I think, Perfect, I have a drill, I have drill bits. I think that's the way to go. So what I'm gonna do is assume that I'm making it five millimeters thick. So it'll be five millimeters of material uh, to, to drill through. And that should be nice and structurally sound. Uh, let's see, so I'm gonna go five out. I'm gonna bring it down here and then, that gets me my shape. That gets me my shape. I'm gonna finish that sketch. I'm gonna click on my shape, my right angle, hit E for extrude and um, 40. Let's do 40 millimeters, how about that? 25 millimeters is gonna be an inch. This is an inch and a half-esque, something like that. You have to remember the board on this side, uh, the post is going to be three and a half inches because it's either a four by four post or the broad side of a two by four. Now the other two by four is coming at it like this and it is going to be an inch and a half across. So 40 millimeters, gonna be just fine. Well, there's our bracket. Look at that thing, it's all brackety. Whee! What if, just to kind of hold it into place, because it's gonna be like this, and it's, it's gonna have holes, and it's gonna have screws, and that's gonna have holes and screws down into here, but what about just something kind of on the side, kind of just keeping it there, just for a little bit of extra? I mean, we're in here, we're modeling, why not do it, right? I got an idea. So I'm gonna go here, create a sketch on this. Okay, I'm gonna go line, and I'm just gonna trace it out here. There we go. I just kind of made a box down below. I know, you know what I'm gonna do, just cause I'm silly. I'm gonna go up here, and I'm gonna go like that. So I've got 75 millimeters across and five millimeters tall. Why do the lines, right? So I'm gonna click this and hit E for extrude and go 50. Now look what that does. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I put it on the wrong side. Don't. This. Let's see if I can just control go here. We'll bring it out. There's 75. Fine. Sometimes things mess up. Control Z is your friend. Hit E for extrude. I'm gonna go 50. 
I'm gonna go 50. Now, so if it's sitting up against the board here and it's down on this board here, that piece that we just put on sort of hugs it. It just keeps it, keeps it in check. We don't have to necessarily screw in from that side, but since those two screws going into the flat face of the post here, it's, it's against that side. Once we hug this on this side, that piece we just made, it should hold the board just fine. I brought the piece into Bamboo's slicing software and I have it set right now to uh, Bamboo PACF or uh, PA being polyamide, uh, that's gonna be nylon. So, uh, so carbon fiber nylon and I'm gonna change it to 0.28. That should be fine. Uh, what I'm doing is have a look. So I set it up, I want six, six wall loops. And the reason that I want that is so if I zoom in, and I start going down here, have a look, right in there, right in there. That is going to be solid. That is going to be solid, solid material. And that's what I want so that we can drill through it and it's got a brim because it's nylon, doesn't want to lift. Okay, let's send this to the printer. Let's print it out. Sad day, sad day. Uh, it only printed a little bit and then <laughs> I ran out of material. See, it says, it says PACF right there, um, but it's out, it's out. So instead what I'm gonna do, um, uh, nylon's great, carbon fiber nylon is great, but so is polycarbonate. I do have some Polymaker PC. I'm gonna re-slice, I'm gonna throw that on and that's gonna be the piece we use. So let's okay, cool, cool down a bit. Yeah. It just popped right off. There we go. Cool, I'll be able to remove that brim really, really easily. And that's gonna be the piece. Look at that, it's just gonna sit just like that. Well, let's get this off and let's go get it installed. Here's the piece, it's done in Polymakers Polycarbonate, their PC stuff. The brim came off really easily. Now check it out. Look at that, it fits right there. So I'm gonna put two holes right in here and then we'll put screws in to hold it in place. <laughs> the drill doesn't fit easy. I'm gonna put two holes in. I'm gonna start right there. There we go. And I'll put one right there. Now remember, this is 100% infill. This is 100% this is material. So uh, drilling through is really easy. And I'm using uh, Spax screws. Now, for something like this, you wouldn't want to use a drywall screw because it's got that, um, the head that has the, the angles on it. This is more like a cap head screw. So when it goes in, it should hold just fine. Now that I've got that side anchored in, I'll drill holes straight down and I will pull this to make sure the holes are in the right spot. There we go. Bracket is in place. Look at that, it does not move. The problem before was the dogs would be able to push it. So now, I mean, the dogs are definitely not gonna be able to push that. There we go, look at that. Nice and sturdy. The dogs aren't gonna be able to push to the other side. Uh, this was fun. This is a great practical print. And here's what's really cool. It was one of those things where I wasn't expecting to film anything today and I wanted to get this done. It was really easy to do. It was really simple geometry to, to make the piece. You can tell that we used a, a good uh, engineering quality material like polycarbonate. You could probably use PLA or ABS for this if you had it. Uh, that would probably work just as well. I like that we did 100% infill or just all perimeters. And so that way drilling through the material works good and you, you aren't compressing infill. You're just compressing solid material. And then use uh, some good screws something that's like, uh, that's like a cap head this is, or a, a wafer head here. Um, if you use drywall screws, that angle is gonna pierce through the material a little bit easier. Uh, okay, my, uh, my chore list is now one less and I'm gonna get back to work. Listen, if you made this fire awesome, don't forget to hug each other more, fight for cause you believe in. As always, 
high five.